Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna learn how to make Dalgona coffee. Dalgona coffee originates from South Korea. We're gonna be using instant coffee, sugar, and some water. Believe me, there are hundreds of variants to this recipe. This is just my personal favorite. And I definitely recommend that you experiment and try to find your own personal favorite. For the instant coffee, any type is totally fine. You just wanna make sure that it's the kind that when you put it in water, all you need to do is just stir it and it dissolves. Some people might refer to this as freeze-dried coffee, and most families have some of it in their pantry. This recipe I'm making today will serve approximately four to six drinks, depending on how strong you want your flavor to be. And the best thing about this, it refrigerates really, really well, and we can also stick it in the freezer. All right, I'm just gonna measure out 10 grams of the instant coffee. And next, you'll need 100 grams of sugar. I'm using white sugar today. There's also recipes with powdered sugar, brown sugar. Depending on the type of sugar you use, it will change the flavor, but all of them will definitely be delicious. If you do wanna to switch to a different type of sugar, your measurement might also be different. And last but not least is the water. We're going to be using 60 milliliters. I'm just gonna use room temperature water. Well, we have all our ingredients ready. I'm gonna put in the instant coffee first with the water, and I'm gonna mix it in until the instant coffee dissolves. Then I'm gonna add the sugar. I'm gonna be using a handheld electric mixer, but I know that you could definitely do it with a normal whisk or even like a KitchenAid type mixer. Um, this one I just find to be quite useful and it's very light and easy to use. I'm gonna start on low and then we'll work our way up. As you can see already, it is quite frothy, which is great. It means that a lot of the coffee has already dissolved, which is exactly what we want. Next, I'm going to add the sugar. This is a really easy recipe to make, and it actually only takes a few minutes. I'm actually gonna use a timer on my phone just to see approximately how long it will take to get to the consistency that we want. And at this point, I'm gonna have the mixer go to full speed. At about 30 seconds, we're already seeing a really nice creamy consistency. If you wanted after 30 seconds just to put it on top of your drink as sort of a mousse, this would be a really great consistency. Let's continue on. At one minute, let's see where we're at. Wow, it is already getting there. Again, at one minute, you could easily put this on any of your drinks and it would taste really great and it would look really cool and it would float on the top. Let's continue on for another 30 seconds to one more minute and see what happens. So at one minute and 30 seconds, we're getting soft peaks. And at two minutes, let's take a look. Wow, those are definitely stiff peaks. I'm gonna go just one more minute and just see how it comes out. Looking good, guys. So I think at one minute, two minute, and three minute, you're gonna get a wide variety of different textures and consistencies. I guess it just depends on what you want for yourself and or for your pictures. At three minutes in, this is really, really thick. I'm gonna stop here because I don't really need it much thicker than that, but it would probably end up being about the same if we continued on. It's so thick, it doesn't even come off. All right, let's give this Dalgona a try. It looks beautiful. Look at that consistency. Perfect and frothy to top any drink. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm, it's like biting into a soft marshmallow. Got a really strong coffee flavor. And of course, nice and sweet. It does kind of remind me of like, a coffee flavored marshmallow. It's delicious. This is gonna taste amazing on top of a drink. Let's give it a go. So today I'm using soya milk, but it would taste absolutely delicious with dairy milk, oat milk, almond milk, or anything that you want. The thing is, when we put this on top of here and you go to stir it in, if it's too, too high to the top, it's really hard to stir in. So I'm filling it just above half and then we'll go ahead and put the topping on. I'm just gonna use two spoons and I'm gonna dollop it on the top. It kind of sits on the top like a marshmallow. Super cool. We can get creative, add some peaks, or we can smooth it out. Like that. And just for a finishing touch, just got a little wafer daisy right here. Pop that on top and voila. Beautiful. Gotta get my Instagram picture. 
I'm going to put the Delgona into the piping bag and pipe it on top. So we wanna make sure it's as stiff as possible. So I'm just gonna re-whisk it real quick. Yep, that's real stiff. So I've just got a normal piping bag with a large opening. So let's pipe it in. That is awesome. I will say that this definitely adds a really cool look to the coffee. I mean, we could just crazy with this, right? Check that out. There it is, guys. That deserves an Instagram photo. One of the really cool things about this item is it's so versatile. Not only can you put it on top of drinks, you can freeze it, you can put it on cakes, cupcakes. Possibilities are endless. Why don't you like a fruit parfait or something like that as well? I think making a batch this size is perfect because you can use it now and you can store the rest for later, whether it be in the fridge or the freezer. It's 100% vegan. And if you don't want loads and loads of sugar, don't worry about it, just add less. Hey guys, that's my video for the day. Please be sure to leave your comments below and let me know what you thought and definitely subscribe so you can find out when I release some new videos. See you again soon.